Okay, guys. Eighth take. Can't beat it. All right. This is Flores on Cubic Cuties. Welcome to the video. This video is on navigating relationships, okay? Um, I just want to intro this by saying that I, I'm a person that takes dating very seriously. There are many different kinds of relationships. If you're talking about romantic relationships, there are many different types. So dating or having a partner, that's something I take very seriously. And I don't really usually do that that often. Um... Yeah, so I just want to start off with saying finances are something that, of course, probably a lot of people don't talk about, um, but I just want to put it out there because I have seen this situation a lot before. Um, first off, I've just seen this happen to too many people. If you're dating someone, don't... Don't be naive, okay? Have trust in them, of course. They're your partner, but don't be naive. I've seen it a whole bunch of times where person A gives all their resources, finances, etc., a car, their housing situation, their money, they all leave it up to person B. All right? Whether it's months later, whether it's years later, person B is like, fuck it. Whatever happens, person B leaves for whatever situation. And now person A has no housing, has no car, has most of their savings gone. Um... Pretty much, they're just left out to dry. I don't want this happening, you guys. I just think it's really important to, um, don't be naive. <laughs> like I said, just think about what the repercussions could be in case something does happen. Worst case scenario, I'm not trying to be too cynical. Thankfully, this has never happened to me, though. I'm just talking on experience of what I've seen with other people. Um, I do not want to happen. I do not want this to happen to anyone. So just be cautious. Okay. Um. All right, uh, next I want to talk about respect. Respect is really important in any sort of relationship, whether it's romantic or not. Um, specifically for our channel, I just want to talk about pronouns. Um, pronouns and also their sexuality, their gender, how they identify, their, their sex, etc. Um, you, as their partner, don't want to make them uncomfortable. You don't want them to feel like you're putting them in a corner, um, if you're not sure what their pronouns are, what their gender, sex, whatever, what they identify as, um, their sexuality, ask. It's okay. Um, it's okay to ask. Just make sure to be respectful about it. You don't want to be like, so are you a fucking boy or a girl? Like, don't do that shit. That shit's fucking annoying. Just ask them. Be like, hey, I'm not really sure. Don't want to offend you or... Hey, I'm not, you probably don't want to say don't want to offend you. That's like when you know someone's about to offend you, actually. So just ask them. Just be like, hey, I'm not really sure, but what are your pronouns? Um, as a partner, you should probably be on point with that shit because, you, like I said, you don't want to offend them. Also, as their partner, um, you're probably going to get those types of questions a lot. And you probably want to correct people if, they're like borderline about to offend your significant other um yeah so you have to realize that you're if they do have different uh pronouns or genders you want to make sure that they you're probably going to be like a buffer a lot of times like people might ask or you might have to correct people um you know uh so just make sure that you got that shit down on pat um, oh, and of course, extend the same courtesy back if you think that they might be confused about what your pronouns are or etc. Be like, hey, I just want to let you know that I go by they, them, he, she, her, her, whatever. So just let them know. Um, yeah, uh, don't make a, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a big deal you know what I'm saying uh, it's just something just it's just like any other part of your relationship so just make sure to be respectful about it um I just want to talk about dysphoria and outing people as part of you know being respectful um example I was with someone and they had a lot of dysphoria they really in their words believed in a male female masculine feminine role I identify as non-binary this relationship was particularly particularly hard on me because 
they wanted me to be the more feminine role, which I didn't always feel comfortable with. I did try and tell them, and they got better about it over time, but it was still kind of rough. Um, they were having a lot of dysphoria whenever we were in a sexual situation. They would not want to take off their clothes. They didn't really like being touched, which at first I was not really sure what was going on because of my first relationship where that kind of happened. So I was just like, okay. But then over time, I realized that... Sh- sh- I just fucking lost my thought. Okay. So over time, I realized that it was just that they were uncomfortable and that they didn't want to be reminded, I think, that they were biologically female. Um, Because a lot of times they would tell me, oh, I should have been born a man. I should have been born a man. And then they would tell me that, I don't know, they just had a lot of indicators of being like agender or probably even trans Uh, like F to M. So of course I didn't want to, they weren't really, I want to say they weren't really educated in like the LGBT community. Um, I didn't really, of course, want to out them or make them feel vulnerable, but I did mention it to them one time. I told them, you know, I'm non-binary. This is how I identify. Have, have you heard of that term or F to M? Um, and we had a discussion about it. They took it really well. Uh, they told me that you know, you want to ease into it. You don't want to just, boom, there it is. Like, that's not always the best way to go about it. Um, they told me that, yes, but they were, because of religious reasons, they thought that it was best not to change their body, and they were born that way, so they didn't want to change it. And at that point, you know, that's their, that's their decision. That's not for me to be pushing on it. That's not for me to be trying to push them towards you know, transitioning or something. If they're not comfortable with it, they're not comfortable with it. If they don't want to act on it, they don't want to act on it. Um, of course, I'm a pusher sometimes, okay? Sometimes I push, but I really try not to, especially especially with situations like this where people might not be comfortable. You don't want to push your partner into a situation where they're going to feel cornered and not comfortable with you no longer. So just make sure that you're being as respectful as possible. Uh, communication and understanding. A lot of people say communication is the key to a, a good relationship. While I agree it is important, I think the understanding is a little bit... Mm, you kind of... You can't really... You can try and communicate with someone, but if they're not willing to try and understand you, then you're probably not going to get very far. So, do your best to understand your partner and your partner's needs and how they feel about things. Um, you want to try and avoid any possible confusion, so... If you're not sure about something, whether that be sexuality, gender, etc., and you're comfortable speaking on it, go ahead and let your partner know because you don't want it to just jump them all of a sudden. Of course, it's a confusing situation for you, and if you just blindside them, it's not always the best feeling. Um, so if you, if possible, if you feel comfortable with it, go ahead and let them know. Let them know that you're not really sure about A, B, or C. Um, like I said, you don't want to catch them off guard. Uh, I'm going to talk about abuse for a minute or two, so if you're not comfortable with that, if that's a trigger for you, please go ahead and click off this video, or you can skip forward like a minute or two, like I said. So, yes. Abuse is not healthy, it is not okay, there's many forms of abuse, emotional, physical, mental, sexual abuse. Um, I have been through some of these situations, in some of these situations of abuse, and I just want to say that if you are going through it, or you're not sure if you're going through it, please do some research. Um, that At least that really helped me. Um, there's usually a pattern. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of resources that you can use to get out of the situation or to help yourself. But not only yourself, but the person that is abusing. Or if that's you, you know, you also need help. I think that in that kind of situation, it's... I mean, the abuser is abusing for a reason, and I think that it's important that both parties get help, if you understand, because it's just, it can be a really ugly situation, and a lot of people are ashamed to talk about it, and I definitely understand where you're coming from if you are, if you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want to make it, put it out there, I understand, Um, but you can't be ashamed of a situation that someone puts you in or that you're having very little control over, uh, you need to you need to stand up for yourself and you need to get yourself help. And whether, like I said, whether you're the victim or the abuser, there's 
still like resources that you can use to um to get help so i just think that's really important and yeah please it's not healthy and it's not okay so yeah um after that i want to talk about sex shaming uh this i was in a i was kind of in a conversation about it the other day and i got really upset because i don't think it's right and i don't think it's okay to make someone feel bad because they're expressing their sexuality um yeah so whether if they want to be in an open relationship or whatever as long as both partners are in agreement, i don't really think there's nothing wrong with that um if they want to have five casual friends cool just make sure to take care of yourself take care of your body um you know and i just want to say that if you are not comfortable but you are being promiscuous um i've had a lot of friends be in the situation where they'll get into a breakup or they're trying to change something about themselves and they'll try and push themselves towards this promiscuity and then end up feeling guilty or uncomfortable with it just give yourself a break and think about it really because it's not something that i think what does that mean sorry i'm having horrible video problems my shit keeps lagging but if you, where the fuck was I? Sorry. Yeah, don't feel embarrassed if, don't let someone make you feel embarrassed or ashamed if you're in that kind of lifestyle or whatever. If you're happy, you're happy and ain't nobody should give you shit about that. So really it's nobody's business but your own. If you want to have a couple casual friends or whatever, um, do you boo boo so really it's just not even it's like it just makes me so mad i don't even know like it just makes me really mad when people try and make women or men or what however you identify feel bad because they're expressing their sexuality like <sighs> how can i put this um your body has needs and you don't always want to be in a relationship but you still want to have those needs so i don't see an issue it's your body and if you feel comfortable in that situation good on you no one should be calling you like derogatory terms because you want to have a casual relationship to fulfill your body's needs and i just i just really hate that shit a lot like a lot like a lot a lot um yeah, also, I just wanted to say really quick, don't let someone guilt or guilt you into a relationship or make you feel bad enough or ashamed of yourself to get into a relationship with them or um, don't let your friends or family members do that. That's wrong. Um, I've been in situations where I've had a casual friend or like a cuddle buddy and people expect me and push me towards getting in a relationship with them or they kind of push me towards it and that's not okay. Um, <clears throat> I think if you're going to be in a dating relationship you need to be on the same wavelength if i'm not on the same wavelength with my cuddle buddy or my casual friend and i don't want to date you you shouldn't make me feel like i have to date you you know um <clears throat> so also really important make it clear where you stand if you just want a casual friend let your casual friend know hey you're just a casual friend this is what i expect kind of this is what i want if you don't agree with that we're gonna cut ties because obviously you don't want someone catching feelings for you if it's not really what it is so you know just keep that like i said respect um don't let someone push you into a relationship that's just not okay um <clears throat> yeah so conclusion this is just my take on relationships and just a whole bunch of stuff that i just crammed into this video so yeah um this is flores on cubic cuties go ahead and subscribe and like the video uh we do post um like weekly topics and it's a lot of different points of views as people is, that identify differently in the lgbt community so it's a lot of it's a lot of good um information so just go ahead and uh leave a comment or if you want to message me that's cool if you have any questions i will put some links in my little word boxy thing underneath this video uh probably to my tumblr and stuff and yeah you guys take care um have a really good day and enjoy yourself. Okay, bye guys.